Knowing the why for what you're doing is so critically important. We're going to be talking today with someone who definitely knows her why. Stay tuned. Hi everybody and welcome to Fun to Know with Carol. If you're new here, I'm Carol Cheneau and I'm glad to have you joining the channel. If you're a returning viewer, thanks as always for coming back. Today we're going to talk with Gail Rappaport Weiland, who is one of the most passionate artists I know. She has a real flair for what she does and why she does it. You're going to want to hear her story. And so I went to her studio just to check out actually where she works and to see some of her art firsthand. Let's sit down with Gail now as I introduce you. Gail Rappaport Weiland. So Gail, uh, tell me a little bit about your background, your art background specifically. Well, I would love to first of all, welcome to my studio. I'm a girl who grew up in Brooklyn and you can't take the New Yorker out of me, but I'm here in wonderful Pismo Beach, California, and that would be heaven. And I'm surrounded by my angels, which I know we're going to talk about. But how did we get started or how did I get started? Well, I've had a paintbrush in my hand since I've been a child. I have a picture in my book of just sitting with the paintbrush. And I did, I do have a recreation degree and an emphasis in art, but I was not a feisty person. I was pretty quiet. I was very involved in my painting and my drawing, and I actually did pottery in college. Oh. Yeah, which was so fun. I loved it, but I moved around a lot, and I couldn't carry pottery on my back, but I could carry a watercolor set. And I ended up, after traveling to 17 countries in Europe with a friend, I ended up actually, it was the time of, you know, when gas prices were crazy in Europe, they were getting crazy here. I have to be honest, after spending that time in Europe, I spent a lot of time in New York just in my room painting and reading books and sort of going through cultural shock. So did you start out with watercolor or oil painting or have you had a preference? Well, I started out with watercolor and this is where I was going, coming back from Europe. My friend from college in Kansas said, why don't you come live with me? I took a park and rec watercolor class because I had done oils in college and honestly, I didn't enjoy them. I don't know why, it just, oils were never my thing. I took this class and it was amazing. She taught very much step by step in a style that I now teach myself. And it was a miracle. I was painting these beautiful paintings because she could teach. Not only did I enjoy her, but she was so supportive. And that's part of how I created my own teaching style. So you are a teacher, a businesswoman. You have some artwork that has uh, gone onto fabric, I know, which has always had kind of an intrigue for me. So a lot of different facets to your life. Tell me what the most satisfying aspect of your art life is. Well, it's a journey, as you well know, and I believe, and I try to put out to not only my students, my collectors, friends, you can do anything you put your mind to. And I believe I have come to the point in my painting journey or art career that I've been knocked on the head several times and I think you see my angel paintings around you and I believe, be it the universe, God, a higher power, intuition, whatever your personal belief is, I think I have become a conduit for painting angels. And I call them my angel within art because I believe everybody has an angel within. And that is why my angels are faceless 
because I also truly feel the energy of my angels connect with who they are supposed to. I am always amazed that just the right person finds this angel. And I also, you know, I have an angel within our group. And in that group and other places, I pay it forward. There was someone on Facebook, I was reading them their, their story, and honestly, I don't know them. And I just PM them and said, would it be okay if I send you one of my angels? Because I believe that I am being connected and I'm supposed to do that in certain places. So when it moves me, I pay it forward. And I'm not saying I don't sell my angels too. I do. But I have many stories, things that blow me away. Angels have always appeared in my paintings. I somewhat ignored them, but now I know I can't be ignoring them anymore. So tell me, how did, how did you get started with angels? Well, to tell you the truth, they have just shown up in my paintings. And I will tell you that other interesting things, and I'm looking at that painting up there, I don't know if there's sort of a gargoyle face in the bottom of that orange painting, bottom to the left. I will tell you, I did not paint that. That showed up. I'm not feeling really angelic about that one, uh -huh. but it did show up and I didn't paint it out. So. Angels in that sense have shown up in my paintings too, and I didn't paint them out. And if somebody noticed them, so be it. But now when I notice them, what I do is I enhance them. And I kind of help and guide others to see them like I am seeing them. And I think that's very important. And as you go around, you will see every single one of my angels are different. I can't repeat them if you say, oh, I want one just like that. Well, sorry, it's not happening because I do feel that, like I said, I'm not saying they're special. I'm not saying they're healing. I'm not telling you that. But what I am saying, I feel that my hand is moved by something beyond me because I have the skill and the technique and the ability to make that happen. So what I'm hearing is that listening to your intuition is something that you've been doing for a long time and it's showing up in remarkable ways. I have been doing it for a very long time. I feel doing what you believe and I feel being open to the nudges mm -hmm. because there are always nudges, but you have to be open and you have to ask. You have to be listening. You have to be listening, <laughs> yeah. ab absolutely, and you have to be aware. You know, maybe it's that little feather. Maybe it's, I always know my dad's with me when I see 7-Eleven, he was a gambler. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I, um, I see it often and yeah. I know he's with me. Okay, so let's take a little tour around your studio. It is so bright and colorful and wonderful here. So let's see a little more close up what you've got going, Gail. Okay, we've got lots on the walls, all four walls here. So let's take a look specifically at what's going on here. And yes, there is a lot going on. I do these mini angel within paintings and other minis. But what I want you to notice on the angels is they are all faceless. Remember I told you some of them just happen? Well, these, this piece is one where the angels appeared and then I just helped them arrive. Hmm. But they wanted to be in that painting and so who am I to say that they couldn't be? <laughs> and then I do a lot of abstract work, a song in my art where I put music into the work and collage. Obviously, we live at the beach. I love sunrises and sunsets. And so people have called me the classy artist with countless styles because I am not going to be put in a box. I do paint from my soul and from my intuition and what, what I feel. And obviously, with what's going on in the world, you see why I was painting some sunflowers right now. Mm -hmm. And 
I do greeting cards and I have my angel greeting cards. I do some really large work. You see this larger angel family piece. This is my Bold Bloom series. I am a golden artist educator, a silver brush artist educator. That's why I have all this good stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So someone who's just wanting to get started, um, what would you say is the path for them to get started to learn? They say, oh my goodness, look at this. I would really love to be able to do something like this. But I would say either for me or from anybody that has a wonderful beginner watercolor class. Take a beginner watercolor class. If you can't afford to take a class, get on YouTube. Yeah. You know, and Google beginner watercolor or actually Golden. Golden has so many free hmm. YouTubes. Okay. And you know, so you don't have to pay for it. I'd love to see you in a class. I'm a really good teacher but that's what you want. You don't necessarily want someone, you know, who paints great, that's great, because not everybody who's a painter is a teacher. Is a teacher, that's exactly right, good. Well, as you can see, these are just fantastic works of art, and it's been a pleasure talking with you, uh, Gail, and I, I know that it's going to be inspiring to the people who are watching today. So thank you so much for sharing your talent and your expertise with us. I am so grateful that you came to visit. You are all the wind beneath my wings and I could not do this and be on this journey without you because it takes a village. See more artists and craftsmen in this playlist. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful week ahead.